Rip Neck at the end of the day. <laughs> Are you guys, you're not taking a boat now, too? Well, we don't have a choice. It's only one we're going to be able to hunt. Why? <laughs> it's not good. Why? Kurt, Kurt called up and says, you're around. screwed. Boat. Oh, no. The hiking might be easier. <laughs> it's Welcome back guys, this is Sheep Camp 2020. We got the trailer, the two rangers, we got the pontoon boat. We just got here, it's like 12 o'clock. We're gonna go run out and see if we can go find a sheep. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here. It's like 15 degrees, sun's out. Great day to be sheep hunting. We're gonna get out there and see if we can uh, locate a sheep. All right guys, fast forward. We just uh, unloaded everything at the camp and we got everything situated and we just grabbed the pontoon, headed the boat launch. We just got set up. Uh, we got Kurt with us, he's gonna be our guide. He knows how to score the sheep, he's really good at it. So he'll know how to put us on the good one and uh, we'll see if we can get out there and smoke one. Deer hunt for five thousand bucks. Did you know you can go on a real crappy sheep hunt for about twenty-five thousand? All right, we just spotted our first sheep up on the ridge above us. Uh, we spotted it when we're cruising along the boat. The water's pretty flat, so we kind of glass and slowly go along. And there he is. It's a pretty nice one. Uh, not what we're looking for, but we can start the trip. All right, guys, we just spotted a ram. Um, we're three quarters of the way up, or plan on going, and there's this rocky ledge right up here. And Nate made a good spot. He was just right up there looking at us. We stopped and got the binos. He was a three quarters curl, so it was, it was a decent ramp, but not what we're looking for. Um, we're going to keep going. He, uh, the video you guys can see it just wasn't that old, but uh, still cool to see. So we're going to keep ramp. Uh, second ramp today, so been a good day of sheep hunting so far. We got here later in the day, and we're still making a decent effort. So. Spine. 
another ram. Another big old sheep. We did some rock crawling today to get up on top of this ridge. Oh man. We need to get up on those glassing points. We can glass down and all this stuff. Some real steep, rugged country. A little bit of snow on the top it's mostly blown off decent ram young one he's at like what 100 yards 86 yards As we were walking up the draw, me and my dad, Kurt, split up from the Tudvits and we went different ways. We went up a pretty steep little hill there and we looked into another draw. And uh, if, as you guys know, if you're sheep hunters, covering country is a huge deal so you can look at a bunch of sheep. And we got over and we looked at about 10 to 15 sheep and we saw two rams and they're about like low to mid 160s range. And uh, they were, they're not really what we're looking for. So we got a pretty good little video of them and you guys. Stay tuned, it'll be good. It's pretty pruned off. Alright guys, that concludes day one. We saw six rams. We split up with Grant and Kurt. They went on top of the hill behind us. So we don't know what they've saw. We've seen a couple muley bucks, six sheep, and a, supposedly there's like 195 ram two, three miles behind us. So we're gonna go make a game plan for the morning. Let's take a look. Alright guys, it's day two of our sheep hunt. Uh, we're checking out this area we got a tip at. Uh, it's like it's supposedly like a two inch ram in here, so we're gonna go give it a try. And uh, we just spotted some sheep in this little basin uh, where we're headed to. And it, so the guys that showed us a picture showed us another picture of a little ram the big sheep was with. And we spotted that ram, so we're gonna go check out. Hopefully that big two inch or just behind the little crevice or something where we can't see him. So we're gonna see if we can find him. Alright guys, um, we just made the top of this little mountain, uh, we changed spots actually yesterday, we got a dude in camp that uh, was friendly enough and he said he saw a nice ram where we're headed and uh, he's guessing around that 200 inch mark, so definitely something we got to take a look at. Um, yeah, just nice the guy kind of giving us pointers, um, nice thing that the sheep take, not a lot of people have it so they'll tell you stuff, so we're going to go check this area out. Uh, we saw one sheep this morning. It was like a 140, 150 ram, not that big. Uh, it had a good curl above. As soon as it dropped below its ears, it just lost mass, but it had a full curl. So um, just we need a little bigger mass towards the bottom. It'll be looking good, but 
Uh, as of right now, we'll just keep going. Uh, this is our first little checkpoint, uh, checking where he's at. So I'll give you guys an update in a little while. As you can tell, this is some steep stuff. Um, you know, that little ledge right here, just walk by it. A ton of sheep beds and sheep poop and stuff. That's just a good bedding area for them. They love little edges like that where they can look over the country. So, this is kind of some of the stuff we're hunting. Quote unquote sheep habitat. But, pretty cool. Let's see from my. Alright guys, so in this part, uh, we're actually sitting down right now, and uh, this we're spotted just six sheep on the ridge, um, far away, and uh, some smaller rams, nothing really we're too interested in, and we were sitting there, we actually had a smaller ram come right underneath us and run by, it was cool, we got a good video of that, so uh, it's a cool experience, and we're going to go hike up a little more, get close to those six six sheep up on that ridge, and see if we can make another one up here somewhere that might be a shooter, so we'll see what's going on over there. Three of the four are small. I'd say a lot of other areas that one would probably be a shooter. Guys, it's a windy one out here. We just bumped a ram to the left about a half a mile. And then we just came over the ledge, spotted 15 ewes, now six rams. That's enough size to, to look at, but this should be a big one if there's that many ewes. So we'll try to find one. Alright guys, so in this part, uh, we're actually headed out to check out this sheep you guys saw in the video. Uh, we figured that many uh, ewes, there had to be a bigger ram around since, you know, it's just being in the sheep rut. So we figured we're going to go check it out, get a little closer, see so if we can give her a look, and maybe that big old ram is just around the edge. So we're moving closer right now, and we'll give you guys an update on it. By the yucca plant. There's one, two, three, four, five rams. All of them are good. And then that little one that went up over the hill. Got any extras of those, big fella? That I could have some of? There was another ram. That's the one who came by us, I think. Look like the same, like his horns look fuzzy damn near. That ram really has a collar. Which one?
Huh? We just came over to look at the rams. Ended up being five of them. Nothing big enough to enough to shoot. Thought there's gonna be a bigger one out here. There's so many use. But we were on. So we're gonna head back to the truck now and go ask our way back. Alright guys, so this in this part we just got up within 90 yards of the sheep. In the video, uh, we got really close to him. It was cool to see that sheep that close in person. And uh, unfortunately, it was not a shooter. The 200 incher we saw in the picture was not there. And nothing else that really gave us too much interest. So we're going to keep going and have a have a different plan tomorrow. I think we're going to try a different area. Uh, I'm not saying that 200 incher is not around, but I'm guessing he just moved and checking out a different area for use. So we might come back to that later in the week. But right now, we're going to go see if we can find another ramp. So. It's 8.15 in the morning. We just got done looking over there and we just came on top of this hill with the rangers. We spotted 20 sheep so far and over 150 head of elk. Um, can't really tell how big they are yet so we got out the spot and scopes. But we'll let you know in a minute. Fast forward, about a mile, mile and a half in right now. We just spotted the sheep to our right and we're going to look for another one in a canyon. We has like 195 or something. But the sheep over here, our guide, Kurt, he says it looks decent, so we're gonna go take a better look and we'll let you guys know. Alright, guys, we snuck around to this other point. We can get a different advantage of seeing this better ram and it's not really what we're looking for. It's about a mid 160s ram, and so we're going to keep working down this draw and keep glassing up those coolies and see if we can find a better one. There's two good rams. Right, right here. You guys scared them. He's a freaking huge, but he's a nice ram. So there we were walking through the opening. Well, I wouldn't say open, but pretty deep coolies and stuff. 
good for deer, not really much for sheep. And the boys, Garrett and Nate, were up ahead of us walking. And me and my dad and Brian and David were back there ways from them. Two rams jumped up out of the coulee and we're standing there watching them and they're, they went running off. And then uh, we got a pretty good look at them and one was probably like a mid-170s ram. Pretty close to the shooter. He's probably just in the books. Um, but we'll see. We'll try to find one a little bit bigger. But we know where they're hanging out now, so it's going to get good. Guys, we got in a pretty good little drainage here, and me and my dad and a ton of it split up, and me and my dad got into this little nice little hole. As you can see back in the background, we had a bunch of well, we had seven rams and 15 ewes at like 80 yards, and one ram was a pretty decent ram, high 170s, probably low 180s. And so we went back up the tub this, and we brought him over here. We got a we got a pretty good look at him right down here, and it's just. We can get better, I think. So we took a pass on him, and he walked up over the hill, and he's checking out the ewes, sticking his nose up their butts, and they're rutting hard, so it's going to be good. You guys stay tuned. Thank you. 
can't tell. I know it's, it's a, it seems like a decent curl. Like a freaking ram, I'm thinking. Is it? But it's not dropping. God damn it. Need curl. Awesome. Just keep filming it. That's a brilliant idea. Let me show Kurt. Because <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. I mean, he's a nice ram, but I don't think he's a. I think Kurt would probably be disappointed if we killed him, but maybe not. Day four. Uh, we're cruising on the pontoon today. Uh, we're just going along the water, looking at the glassing up on the edges of the ridges and looking for the sheep skyline and. Uh, we ended up looking at 20, over 20 to 30 ramps, and uh, none of them really were what we were looking for. And the one we found one that looked pretty nice, but he was so far away, it's hard to tell if he was gonna, you know, a 180 or a 190 or whatever. So we we couldn't really get close enough to get close to dark, so we couldn't really tell if we wanted to make, go after that one the next day or what. So um, we kind of just headed back and decided not to really go in the water again the next day and see what Kurt and Grant found. And they uh, with their own direction, they tried to find a ram in a different area. And uh, we're going to make a game plan tonight and uh, figure out a plan for day, day five. So uh, stick along. Huh. Hey. Wasn't what I was expecting there. Alright guys, welcome back. So this is uh, Tuesday. We've been out here for a while, but it's my first year to find a big sheep for me. And uh, we finally spotted one with Kurt. Uh, found this ram last night, and we came back this morning. Hopefully, we'll have a better look at it. Uh, he said it was a pretty nice ram. So we're going to try to see if we can get close enough to take a look, give it a good score, and see if we want to shoot it. Does. So stick with it. Come on, but don't shoot now. Though. Don't shoot now. No, <laughs> Come on, but don't worry about me. See where 
whisper in my hand. This box is now neat, right in the shoulder. Good hit. Hit him again. Good hit. Hit him. I didn't feel that high that time. Hit him. Right Dropped down. him. That a boy. Ran down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's cool. <laughs> that boy. Oh man. Yeah. Nice shot. Your first shot was just boom, right? Perfect, dude. Your second shot, I think you smoked high. Yeah. Oh man. First shot was just smashed him. Smashed him good, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. All right, so we just came down this ridge line right here. Kurt was in the lead, and he told us to get down and sneak up to him. I set up on this log right behind us. Three rams stepped out along the hillside, picked out the biggest one, and dropped him in three shots. All right guys, we just smoked a ram. We just came from this hillside back here. We're glassing across this. It's like, it's really good cheap country to me right here. And uh, we're just gonna come another couple hundred yards forward to glass again. And we just come over this little knob and Kurt gets down, gets really excited behind this little, um, Whatever you call it, stump behind me, me well. and uh, he sees three ramps coming up over this ridge behind me. Just they just started coming up feeding. We didn't see them. We couldn't see them from our glassing before. We got super lucky. They came out right in front of us. Nice ramp stepped out, broadside, 100 yards. Nate smoked them. We're stoked right now. It doesn't happen like this very often. Um, perfect opportunity. So, thanks for watching. Within 80 yards, three shots. We're guessing like a mid 180s ram. Beautiful. Couldn't be happier. That's freaking cool. Their heads weigh a lot. Look at that. That's weird. Oh, they're pretty. Yeah, the last try I did. Fantastic, boys. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. It's a hell of a sheep. Hell of a sheep. Is that the same one from the other day? Huh? Or is that the same sheep from the other day? Nope. No? I just looked. Yeah, very similar. Hell of a sheep. Big. Those bases. That's so hard to judge, Ryan. You know, this is... Yeah. It's going to be a 17-inch base, I bet you. Let's see, my bicep's 19, so... Oh, shit. <laughs> I'd say 187. Holy. No sh We killed that big of a sheep? I think so. Oh, my word. That'd be my, that'd be my guess number. We're going to know here in about five hours. <laughs> Holy set him up and take some cool pictures. Yeah, we gotta get some great photos. We're gonna spend some time with photos. Wow, uh, that's a hell of a shape, boy. It's beautiful too. Look at the look how beautiful the color in here is. Yeah. A lot of these sheep don't have that color. A lot of these sheep are like this in here. Mm -hmm. That's a oh boy. That's a hell of a ram. Hey, Max, what do you think, Kurt? <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel like you were pretty good looking good. ram. <laughs> All I said, he wasn't going to shrink on us, and I don't think he shrunk. No. I don't think he shrunk either. That's freaking cool. It is. Holy shit. Look at that thing. Okay, the virgin touch. Wow, that's a hell of a sheep, and I'm not going to hit you. That's a better ram than we thought, guys. Is it? Yep. That's freaking cool. Oh, my word. That is a better ram than we thought. Son of a That's a big dog. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! That is a big dog. You're a big son of a bitch. Wow. 
Foul old sheet. Okay, so says one, okay. two, three, four, five. And it gets tough. There's six for sure. That was going to be seven, probably seven and a half with the lamb's tip. Well, that's kind of what I thought when I told Brian we were over there, seven and a half. That's so this is the sperm line. Yeah. On that one. Yeah. Jeez. Remember we talked about it going yep. through the ear and the eye? Yep. I mean, this is exactly what a guy wants. This is a true to God trophy cheat. That's a trophy ram. Damn. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a hell of a trophy of a lifetime. That's for sure. So he's over 180? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, that looks good from the back. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Jesse carried his mass in this third quarter good. Soft. See that how it flexes? Yeah. The goats are really soft in the center. Don't show Stofus the photos. He's not going to be happy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> got a better guy. That is freaking sweet. Right? Cool. What are you doing, Grant? What? What are you doing? Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> Dude! That is such a majestic animal. Nice. Heck yeah. That's awesome. That's really cool. Oh, you got the big ever these times. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you, you want your kids to pack, day. you got to buy them the biggest one. <laughs> Easiest sheep hunt you're gonna find. Oh my god, that's awesome. So they just came mobbing right up out of here somewhere? Right out, here? Get the leg yeah, right, right somewhere down. in here. That sheep are crazy. Yep. Morning. We actually just shot the ram about an hour and a half, two hours ago. We got it all cleaned up, skinned out, and uh, packing out the meat right now. Two man's got two quarters, 
Grant has two, I got the head. And then the back straps with grain. Um, we're about a mile away from the truck now. We got over a half mile. It's heavy load. <laughs> These shape heads are heavy. But just about there. It's a fun hunt. It lasted six days or five days. I saw a lot of sheep, a lot of rams. And that's when we saw it. We took our opportunity about it. Thanks for watching the series and be back next time. We are back and all loaded up. We're back and think about what we did.